Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel and welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea and thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, for those of you in a third party situation, we are going to find out what's the most likely outcome of this situation. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with each and every one of you and roles can be reversed between you, your person and the third party. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini. What's the most likely outcome for Gemini in a third party situation? Someone here is afraid to take a risk. Um, when I say someone, that means it could be you, your person, or the third party, okay? But it's your reading, so I would say it's you or it could be your, your person here. Afraid to take a risk. Hmm. Your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But someone also could be getting ready to take a risk with you because they can see with the Ten of Cups here that maybe there could be a future between the two of you. But yet to take any actions. Wow, justice. I've got an extra. Page of Wands and Lovers. Wow, this is interesting. So we got the Two of Cups here. So the love is there. I feel like you do love your person. Your person does love you too. Um, again, it could go vice versa. It could be your person putting you in a third party situation. Or it could be you putting your person in a third party situation. But whatever the case is. Ten of Cups here. Four Swords and Lovers. Somebody is getting ready feeling like maybe they could take this risk being with you or you being with somebody because like they can already imagine or that you can already imagine that both of you are going to be really happy together right but the full here also can indicate that it could be quite risky that's well life is <laughs> life is risky anyway right but of course someone here really wants to make the right decision with the justice here making sure that this connection is going to be a long lasting one or making sure that making the right decision and the high priestess here is in reverse so this for me indicates that secrets are going to be revealed or for some of you secrets have already been revealed perhaps you your person and third party may have already found out of each other for some of you maybe it has already happened if not it will happen okay eventually any secrets will be revealed eventually so we've got the five of pentacles here so a decision that someone is going to be making that's going to leave someone feeling like they're being left out in the cold but i'm going to clarify this card in a bit okay five of pentacles here and the nine of wands in my voice feels like someone may be dragging their feet they may not want to take any actions as of yet until maybe they release the other person or maybe, you know, because of a divorce, a pending divorce. If it's not, if they're not married, or if both of you are not married, it could be because of legal reasons, okay? Or, if not, trying to do the right thing. Yep, either or. And we've got the Knight of Swords here in reverse. Yeah, somebody could be hoping that things won't get out of hand and somebody will not try and take revenge or becoming vindictive because of this situation again it could be you your person or the third party and the king of swords here is in reverse so this is you gemini it's been saying to just kind of keep quiet about it um don't say anything and don't show don't don't say anything to even your best friend or people that you think you you trust okay best to keep it to yourself because something about certain information will be revealed eventually right and be careful because you know especially if there is a contract involved or marriage involved it could become like an evidence or proof for anything okay for a divorce or whatever if somebody if your person is trying to sue you or the third party trying to sue your person or 
I feel like justice can it involves like a marriage, okay, for a lot of you, but it may not always mean that. But I feel like justice also can indicate taking the relationship to the next level and getting married, right? Nine of Cups here in reverse can indicate that maybe someone finally realizes that they don't want to be selfish anymore. They don't want to have their cake and eat it too anymore. And that they are finally going to make a very serious decision to take the relationship to the next level or marrying that person, marrying you or you marrying somebody else, okay? Okay, this looks very complicated, but... I'm going to clarify these five pentacles here. King of Wands in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The devil here definitely indicates a third party situation. There's this energy of like, you know what? I don't think I can leave this person because i'm attached to them for financial reasons or because of children or because of um sex because sometimes you just can't explain why right um there's so many fishes fishes in the sea but <laughs> there's there are also so many how do you say um so many stories where you know someone wants to be with that person even though that person has already someone else already married like i don't know what that is is it like a thrill or like wanting someone that you can't really have i'm not saying this is you it could be you i don't know but i just feel like obviously you know there's so many options there are billions gazillions of people in this world but why should we put ourselves in that situation like trying to you know uh compete for one person, it to me it's it's very very silly to be honest, um, but I don't know whether this is you or it's your person, or if it's the third party trying to compete with you for your person or you trying to compete with somebody, with the third party, um, but there's always one original partner, right? The one that's there the longest the one you know and then we've got that another person coming in um a home wrecker right with the four of wands here and the five of pentacles and the ten of wands so there's this energy of like should i also be a home wrecker or should i just let it go i don't know whether it's a third party or you um hmm but I feel like eventually somebody is going to do the right thing with the justice here. It's going to do the right thing or try to do the right thing. Could also be dealing with a liar, right? Someone who lies to you. Your person may be lying to you in regards to the third party. Or you could be lying to your person in regards to the third party. But I feel like there's this, con this connection. It's just hard to... And sometimes you just can't explain why, you know, you're so attracted to this person. You want this person no matter what, you know, <laughs> even though it's a toxic relationship or could be dealing with somebody who lies or has somebody else. I don't know. I just can never put myself in in their shoes. One second, please. <coughs> so is it even worth it to go through any sort of drama and being in, in such a toxic relationship and I always tell my friends um, those who are like they're you know involved with like somebody else's husband I always say be careful you don't know what the third party you know the wife is gonna do <coughs> one second <coughs> sorry I've just been coughing a lot and sometimes the devil and the page of swords here also some of you need to be careful or it could be like a plan as well see there's a vindictive energy here so it could be the third party being vindictive towards you or you or your person being vindictive to your other person if you're the one putting putting your person in a third party situation there's this energy like you know i'm collecting information and i'm gonna bring it to justice here so good because I want to teach this person a lesson. So again, it could go vice versa here. I don't know whether it's you or them or the third party. But yeah, that's another 
scenario. But anyway, Gemini, this is your reading. I can't stand it anymore. My throat is itching right now. <laughs> Take care. I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.